a whole lot of confidence in us down no. there. <laughs> Welcome to Roleplay Cafe. Today we uh, embark on session three of Swords and Wizardry Continual Light. As of yet unnamed, but I'm sure it will garner a name by the end of this. Uh, respect this to be the last uh, three part session. So hold on to your uh, seats. We're joined again by Jason playing Colbert or Colbert. What? Yeah. Pick your poison. <laughs> David is Lauren. Mm -hmm. Todd has shifted over, quantum leaped into Graham because his uh, character died last time. And Kevin is uh, brother Monty. All right. So now we pick up three, two, one, go. You guys have just witnessed the fall of the uh, ashened corpse as it hit the ground. All of the flames died down. Brother Monty just uh, saved Lauren from expiring. Oh, yeah. And had to leave, uh, had to make a, a critical choice. But Barlow expired. Um, like I said, when you when you stick, everybody sees this uh, this tree. All the foliage has been burned off. It's a little bit ashen. The bird uh, sits in the branches untouched. It sings a song and it flies off. Brother Monty, you get a uh, uh, a feeling of peace that Brother Isaac has been able to be relinquished and let go of this this area and passed on at that moment. Uh, down below the hill, we have Graham which was down there with Anders and he was unexpectedly attacked by Anders. Um, and he actually won that altercation by his breath and took out Anders with his sight. And that's where he is down below uh, as all this chaos was going on up the hill. So anyway, guys, take it away. What do you want to do? Um. Tomas is outfitted, right? He managed in the night to go to his uh, home and outfit and get all of his gear, right? Yeah, you are you're correct in bringing up Thomas. Okay. He was the only one that was not inside the Ashen Ring, and he was over to the uh, outside. Uh, whenever the flies, uh, the fires die down, he rushes uh, rushes in there, and he's got this this look of awe and surprise, and. Are are you okay? Are you, what, what's going on here? Why why did y'all react to such? What was what was that corpse? He's totally disarrayed. Mm -hmm. right. uh, brother brother Monty could speak better to what has occurred. This this might be a good place to camp though. Uh, this is where Lauren and I camped a few days ago. Mm -hmm. Brother Monty uh, kind of just nods and he's. While he's feeling relief for his fellow brother uh, being released from kind of the, the holding he had here, he's also struggling with the fact that he just made a choice that sent somebody uh, to their death. And um, he, he's stopping to sit and pray. Um, and he's kind of just, he's aware of what's going on around him, but is keeping his interactions pretty minimal. Okay. Thomas uh, does notice that, that Barlow is, is laying in, in a pile and runs over there and deals by you too. And he's he's looking at him expectantly and he gets up and kind of scampers off and, and looks around. It looks like he's uh, he's trying to locate something. Uh, uh, Colbert will drag, uh, will grab the feet of Barlow and drag him out of this. Uh, I, there's nowhere to bury him here on the ground. I'm assuming this is what, concrete ground or? No, th this is... Uh, this is uh, actually just uh, if they, if it's, it's just a regular ground floor. The okay. walls are built on top of it. Okay. So, but it looks concrete due to the ash pile. Okay. Okay. So I'll, I'll drag him out of the ruin. Uh, try to find a place to bury him, and I'll begin uh, digging a, uh, a a grave for him. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'll, I'll maybe yell to the group. Uh, Someone should go get Anders and 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 Graham. Okay, T Thomas looks up at this and, and says, uh, "Yes, they're they're downhill. I'll I'll go uh, I'll go get them." And then he scampers off and runs downhill. Right. Okay. Well, Graham at that time is kind of cleaning up the mess that was left from Anders. You know, the whole 
blood splattering all over the wagon and stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's just he's not leaving his post because you know he was told he had to guard the uh, guard the wagon, so he's staying right right there. Right. You, so. you see the young skinny Thomas kind of leaping in, you know, taking two steps, two strides, coming down the hill, rebounding right. down the hill from tree to tree, and right. then skitters, uh, skitters to, at the bottom of the hill and stands there in shock again as you're over him yeah. and he freezes you know you obviously see but he's he's choked up yeah and i'm not trying to hide anything or, or anything i'm just like what, he, what did you do he, he wasn't to be trusted that one attack me mm. he did uh. attack you i'm not i'm not attacking you and he turns around and starts scampering back up the hill okay he's trying uh, to oh, wow climb back up <laughs> getting away oh. <laughs> all right <laughs> smart well, kid i'll right. follow him back up the hill all right okay. would you get black he, he's up there he's he's belly full i'm not him. running after him though he's a little I rabbit just, all right so he, yeah. <laughs> there's no right. hurry there's no hurry in Graham. all right <laughs> okay cool bear you, you've uh oh i was gonna say yeah show him the rest of the other game <laughs> <laughs> Grogar. Grogar had a broken <laughs> shovel, right? <laughs> <He had a shovel. laughs> yeah. But anyway, you see, you start to find some, you know, you tell to to dig out the ground. And there's there's bits and pieces uh, of, of tools laying in the, the rubbish and the piles around there. So I'm gonna say you you find something that can kind of do that before you bite it to the ground. Thomas comes up exasperated. Uh Graham, the, the farmer, he's he's killed Anders. Anders lays down there in a pool of blood. Uh, mm. Colbert uh, stands again. He, uh, Anders was in the original wagon train, so so he feels some loyalty to to Anders. Uh, uh, Colbert stands and looks. Uh, is Thomas tall, small? What? Now Th uh, Thomas is about five eight. Okay. He's a little Weasley rat faced boy, and he looks at you and he goes, <laughs> and th "The one, the one that looks just, just like you." With only black hair. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, and I'll uh, uh, leave unattended Barlow's body in this fresh grave I was digging, and I will head for the wagon. Um, uh, uh, not preparing weapons or anything, but to go see for myself what, what, his, uh, what he's telling me. Okay. And while you're doing it, he's already making rounds. You guys are in close proximity. He's already excitedly telling the rest of you the same thing. Okay. Right. Hearing I, uh, there may be more death. Graham, and Graham, really <laughs> to death. Uh, Graham Rocky will limps. get up and follow. Right. Graham uh, kind of limps halfway up the hill with the sword, you know, and then kind of gets a little, uh, maybe a little winded in his leg or whatever. He just needs to take a break. So he just kind of sits down with his back facing uphill, you know, right. sword kind of sitting on his chin like this, you know, and just kind of catching his breath and... Mm. He knows they're coming down the hill towards him, but right. he doesn't really feel he's he's got to fear them. Yeah, Colber uh, uh, would pass you again, uh, wheezing as he has a he has a lung condition. He'll stumble mm -hmm. by you to toward the wagon. Um, at this point, he's he's just concerned to see what's at the wagon, so he's not even really paying attention to Graham. No, uh, Lauren will uh, he'll try to calm uh, Tomas down and uh, kind of put a. I don't think I'm really in that great. You know, shape, even though I was, well, yeah. I, I would imagine I'm pretty traumatized, you know, that would make sense, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll put a hand uh, on his, uh, actually, I'll put two hands on his shoulders, you know, and kind of try to bring him close to me. And I'll tell him, I'll say, boy, you know, calm down. The others will will uh, handle it. Uh, help me up. And I'll just try to get somewhere where I can kind of sit down and. Yeah, he looks to, like uh, he's about to skitter off and then he stops. Yeah. He calms yeah. himself. His eyes are dilated. They're, oh, his wow. eyes are darting everywhere. And he, he kind of looks up and he's shaking okay. like that. And uh, he, he keeps looking oh. over toward the door and, and looking down on the ground. He, the tracks, it's, every, everything's messed up now. I can't, I can't find Oh, it. okay. All right. If I have to, I'll have to give him a <laughs> smack across the face. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. You do, the down the hill. You do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Let me roll for damage. <laughs> it ain't gonna be much. <laughs> Thank. No. Um, awesome. Anyway, now he, he does. He sobers up at that moment and looks at you and you know focuses in. Okay. And his breathing somewhat calms down. 
Okay. He is facing, after all, his potential father-in-law. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. We, we well, Monty will come down the hill and stop by, uh, stop by the sitting Graham, and can can I see the 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 wagon from where we're sitting? Uh, yeah, the wagon is just what now. Well, I mean, you have to go over the rise a little bit and look down there. The tree line is somewhat sparse enough you can you catch a- aspects of the wagon, you know, peeking through. But you can't so, see so, really Graham or anything as far as no, the scene. But if I if I got myself to Graham, could I see? Oh yeah, yeah, he's still sitting down there right at the wagon. Oh, I thought he was sitting halfway oh, up the hill. Oh, oh no, you were uh, climbing up when you. Yeah, I thought it was about halfway up the rise. <laughs> Yeah, y'all can definitely see from from where Graham is. Okay, okay so I'm going to stop by where Graham is, seeing Colbert continuing his way down to the wagon, and can kind of see a. Uh, I can get the gist of what's happened down there in terms of there being a dead body, and uh, I just ask Graham. So, what happened? It's like I kind of have one hand on the shoulder. Don't even. I don't even look up at him. I'm just looking back down the hill at Colbert, running down the hill, and I just say. Uh, he attacked me, and I didn't take kindly to it. Why did he attack? Only the gods know that. Was there a disagreement? No. None at all. He attacked me out of nowhere. I paid the ultimate price for that betrayal. <laughs> Being where we are, numbers have to stop dwindling. Indeed. And, uh, Monty just sits down next to to Graham and observes what's happening down the hill. Yeah, Colbert uh, arrives at Anders. I don't know what condition he's in. I'm assuming uh, uh, if he's face down, I'll flip him over and in- inspect uh Pat him down. I, I, again, I don't know how far I am from you guys, but you can see him down the hill doing this. At, at some point, uh, he'll stand and look about uh, the area as if maybe there had been um, assailants that he's that he's he might not have processed who killed Anders. Mm-hmm. Right. What what you'll see, according to what Graham did, was use the scythe on him. I think he split him. If I'm correct. Right. Here mm-hmm. about halfway, wow, right. so it's it's a pretty gruesome scene. Okay, you know, but um, you may be able to determine that it was at least a, a bladed weapon. Sure, uh, I I yell back up the hill. This is this is unfortunate, but we now have two bodies to bury. Mm. All right, um, back up the hill. Thomas is uh, he's calmed down a little bit, looking at, at Lauren in the face. Reza says. But I was I was following the tracks. They they led through here, over the side. Come, come see, and he, he brings you over, and and he's he's motioning toward like maybe broken twigs and the faint impressions in the ground as it passes along the side of the wall outside the ashen circle, up to behind the tree. Okay. He, he at a moment he picks up where he kind of left off. You notice that, and and mm-hmm. when he finishes up to the tree, and he looks up mm-hmm. here, here I think somebody was taken here. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll uh, glance, uh, or rather, look uh, down the hill towards where I guess the rest of the party is. Um, what, from my vantage point, are they all kind of maybe talking to each other, or can I really see what? Okay. Uh, um, you, you look there, there's a little bit of, you could hear the talk, especially from Graham and, mm-hmm. and uh, Monty halfway up the hill. So you, okay. you, you probably see them. And see okay. Them. And then I can actually see uh, the, the body there too, as well, right? No, not, not from your vantage point. Not from point. my vantage point. Okay. Yeah. They're right. halfway up the hill and the body's already all the way at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Um, uh I'll uh, take a follow uh, Thomas's eyes up. He keeps looking up towards the tree. I'll look up there. I mean, is there anything other? Uh, it's, it's, what we it's, saw? It's, it's really obvious that uh-huh. tree that had, uh, you know, fr- from the ground up had foliage that was blocking the door is mm-hmm. now burnt. So okay. that's where Thomas was looking at the ground, kind of following the tracks and he let it, it leads right here. Look, you know, and it's, it's right behind the burnt 
uh, remains of the tree. Okay. Okay. So you're saying the tree was basically obscuring at the yeah. time. It was okay. Now it's not because everything's yeah. burned. Okay. All right. Uh, um, I will pull him back a little bit uh, and ask him to uh, uh, go uh, down the hill and uh, gather the others. Um, I'll tell him we don't really know how much time uh, we have left. Uh, and from the from the looks of what what has just uh, happened, uh, I would assume that our time is is very limited. So gather the others the best you can, and I'll I'll sit back down and wait. And he looks at you in a panic, almost restrained panic. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's Lorraine? And then uh, pauses for a second, and you kind of okay. give him a glance, and then he turns around on his heel, one eighties, and down down okay. the hill. And he okay. he comes down there in short order and starts giving y'all. Uh, word from Lord as to what what they fail. Okay. Yeah, Colbert will uh, ramsack the wagon for an old tarp or blanket or something and wrap uh, Andrew's body in it. Uh, and he'll uh, uh, pick him up and throw him over his shoulder and start back up the hill toward the ruins uh, and to Barlow where he left Barlow chugging up. Okay. okay. Um, and y'all get to the top of the hill. Barlow's still there. Every, everything is the same as as you left it. Lauren, I guess, is, is positioned somewhere by the door, um, mm -hmm. possibly. Uh, and Thomas sees that that Graham. When he sees that y'all are still talking with Graham, he keeps a little wide berth and doesn't make eye contact with Graham. He kind of keeps it down, but he's somewhat trusting y'all to have his back on that. You don't know what exactly is going on. Nevertheless, what you say? Monty's going to suggest that we um, properly deal with the dead and camp for the night. Uh, as he looks over at Lauren and says Lauren really needs to to take a, take a rest before uh, any new traveling takes place. Mm -hmm. Do you think I may a shovel. Have me a shovel, says Graham. I'll I'll take care of this. Is this the uh, safest place? And uh Monty Monty will say that he feels this might be holy ground at this point. Uh, uh, now that now that the previous issues are are removed. The flames have cleansed it. Yes, what, what more could befall us here? There cannot be anything <laughs> else here. Um Anybody want keepsakes from these two? Come and uh, come and get it before we start burying them. Oh. Graham's already taken. Head. I've already taken the sword from this uh, Anders. That's all I need. Unless he has armor, but then it's not going to be any good to me at this point now because it's got a huge rent in it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I'll fish the gold piece I paid him out and uh, <laughs> uh, deposit that in my, uh, you know, in my jerkin. Uh, did he have it? Did he have a shield? Del, did uh, Anders, Anders have a shield? Yeah, Anders had a shield, exactly. Shield okay. Short, short sword. All right, so I'll, if I can, I'll take that because I don't have any armor because I'm just a farmer, apparently. So, <laughs> hey, oh. armor class 10. Yay. Yeah. Let's <laughs> play armor, so you should be Ooh. good. Um, what about what? Barlow? Did he not have armor? Oh, he was a magic user. Yes. Yeah, he was a magic user. Mm -hmm. Shoot. Okay. Uh, okay. And uh, Todd knows what he had on him. If you want to divvy any of that up. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Barlow. 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 Uh, while y'all are doing this, Thomas seems ag agitated and walking back and forth along the the, the line of the uh, stone wall, mm -hmm. and even further out and back down the hill and run back up. And he's he's looking over the ground. He'll go to the door and go for it. Dill, is the door intact? Yeah, the door is intact. It's been scarred a little bit by the flames, but it's it it seems uh there's there's no holes in it. It seems very sturdy. It's a wooden door uh with uh metal hinges on it. And okay. it's set into the stone wall, as a matter of fact. Okay. Well, you know what I have to do then. Yeah. <laughs> on the other on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side of the wall, uh, uh -huh. he reports 
that it does go into a, uh, it looks like it's, it leads downhill. It couldn't be like up. You see what I'm saying? Like the outside, because okay. he's already been around the wall, Tom. Okay. And he sees it. This this door leads below. Ooh, ooh. It's an oblette. <laughs> <laughs> right? A doorway into a hole in the, in the right. <laughs> yeah, he's very agitated. He'd say two, three, three men taking someone. You know, this is good more. And and we still feel here this is the safest place for us to uh to uh rest. Mm. Shouldn't we shouldn't we take a look on the other side of that portal first? Yes, yes, Lauren, but you should not uh you should not partake. You are uh you are still gravely injured. Uh I'll that uh, reminds me, Dell. Sorry. Uh, as we leveled up, what are our hit points? Where are our hit points at? Oh, uh, you don't you'll roll for those. Uh, I mean you yeah, I, right, right. I, but but I'm at four and i rolled, so I have a total of twelve, but I'm at four from the last combat. So how do you want me to handle that? Uh, yeah, you will not you'll add whatever you roll, but you won't not until I'm health. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, good. That's yeah. I just wanted to know. Okay. I just wanted to make sure y'all didn't die immediately. <laughs> well, Thank, thanks, Dale. <laughs> yeah, the, so far, Dale, good work. <laughs> yeah, not as good as Todd, though. When I'm getting, yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. you've only right. killed two of a uh, two of five, so you're you're, you're you're doing pretty good. He's like, keep up the quote. Unfortunately, we brought one back to his feet, right? Yeah, barely. <laughs> Much to my chagrin. Anyway, um, it, yeah, that, that's it. If, if y'all want to stay here, Brother Monty does. Uh, you do feel like this place is immediately uh, a sanctuary, so to speak. There's, it, it's it's going to almost turn away. This at least inside the Ashen Ring, you know. Colbert will leave Graham to finish burying the bodies, and I'll go check this door. Uh, shield. I uh, will pull my shield down. Uh, keep my mace. Uh, you know, handy. I'll, I'll maybe set it on the ground at my feet where I can pick it up easily, set it down, and I will I will pull this door, push this door, see if I can. Okay. Um, this door seems uh, to be able to be opened, but it takes at least, uh, it's almost like something's behind it inhibiting this. So does it want to push in and we can't push it? Yeah, in? exactly. You you get a little bit of a purchase on it, but it doesn't give away all that much. And it feels like just because you go back and forth that there's something on the other side kind of barricading it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I set my shield down or actually, no, I'm going to use my shield. I'm going to, I'm going to wedge my shield into the ground between the door and the ground. Okay. As best I can wedge it in there. And then with my mace, I'm going to crack that, top of that shield trying to wedge and bust the bottom of the door open or something where I can get some lift and leverage inward. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and roll a, let's do a strength check on that. All right. Okay. So do you want dice? I'm a 17 strength. So you want the die six roll with a plus one? Is that it? Or do you want under? Yeah. Die six roll uh, with a plus one. I, I, look, it's going to be a negative two difficulty on that. Okay. Okay. So, so so it'll be uh just die six uh one. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. It does give way automatic. Uh, when the door starts to swing, and you feel the other side something tumble over, hit the ground, and start to roll a little bit out of the way, and it's almost like it frees okay. up the door from, you know. Okay. Uh, I pull my shield back up on my arm, and with the end of my mace push what's left of this door in to see what we see. Okay. From the vantage point that you see in, you, you see a little torch light flicker uh, from the inside. So you can see uh, it not, well, at first, it's not necessarily a moving torch, but as you open it up, you see it on a scotch on the wall, like all right? Flickers. Okay, yeah. uh, I, I'll step one foot in and yell as loud as I can. <laughs> Who's here? <laughs> Nice. We nice. mean you no harm. Who's here? <laughs> okay, you hear a bunch of, a bunch of uh, rustling. It 
table uh, scraping or whatever like that. It seems like, Rawr! you know what I mean? And then, <laughs> We've got intruders. Uh, there you and, go. You know, there seems to be uh, something like that. <laughs> and there is. Yeah. And it, you hear, you hear <laughs> him, but you hear, you hear something start, looks like he's going off in the distance as his voice and everything kind of echoes. I look back to my crew. Uh, it, it sounds as if uh, there are people in this chamber. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the lair of the kidnappers. I'm certain of it. Mm. Then, I, then we must go, and I'm I'm headed off into the uh, inside this thing. I hear okay. I hear the kidnappers, and I'm I'm headed off. <laughs> we must rescue these damsels in distress. Okay, so you get you swing off inside there. It looks to be there is. Uh, Basically, some chairs set in there is what you immediately notice. Different, uh, what you had knocked over was uh, a barrel of some kind of wine that had mm -hmm. and rolled to the side. And uh, you get a full view. You'll see that it's almost like a, uh, well, it, it, it does, it's, it's a stairwell. The room itself is probably about 40 by 30. But at the other end, it descends quickly, like uh, a 20-foot-wide uh, descension and stairs down to a deeper level. Oh, okay. Right? Okay. And you, you'll hear, you hear right now, echoes coming back of that same that same voice okay. and then responding echoes. Okay. But I, 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 down there. I grab what this table, if I can, and slide it over and slam it, uh, you know, um, at the top of the stairs making a barricade for them to come up to. Okay. That makes well, sense. It's, a, it's a rather wide uh, opening, like I said, okay. but well, but I'll, I'll position it at least to make, uh, make it clumsy for them to come right up into the room. Yeah. yeah. Even push it off down the stair if you want mm -hmm. to, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, crap, I got you. Okay. All right. That's what you're here. And you hear uh, the scraping of, of metal and, and weapons clashing. You know what I mean? Is there, right. it seems that they're assembling. You've heard that right. before. Marshaling their forces. Okay. We are uh, here. We have come to arrest you. You have no chance of escape. <laughs> <laughs> How many were there? What are they? You know, and you hear voices like that down there. Is there is the gathering up? And, uh, Even if you get past me, there are thirty men waiting for you in, in the ruins. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At this point in time, you you start here. Uh, war cries and screams coming up as they're. <laughs> I mean, it's a. It seems if you had to take a guess, which is echo chamber. Oh boy. <laughs> several. Oh several, boy. <laughs> all right. Could be anywhere. Oh boy. Three to three to eight. <laughs> three know, to uh, third. Albert, <laughs> as he hears them slowly making ground on him, he'll start backpedaling and uh, he'll he'll begin to flee and evacuate this room out to the ruins. All right, as you turn around to flee, you see the flickering down in the distance, you know, of, of the, the stairwell of, of light and torches. And you catch a glimpse of at least four of them peeking out mm, okay. towards your class and turn around. So, anyway, you guys on the other side, what are you still doing? <laughs> well, I've it's planted the, first out of the. Graham's planted the shovel in the ground, you know, and just shakes his head at that Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, oh, what are you going to do? He draws the sword, <laughs> makes ready for whatever's coming our way. All right. Well, technically, you just, you guys, are set, uh, tell me how you're set up. I'm going to uh, position uh, myself right outside that door, uh, ready to surprise the first. Yeah, the you don't first stupid, the, the first dumbass <laughs> that comes through it. Can I position myself above the door? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You well, the yeah, actually, you can because, like I said, the 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 build of this, you could stand almost on the the ceiling of the the room that is beyond. Ah, right, the right, 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 right. Yeah, I, I, I like to stand on the on the just above the door, door with my mace cocked and ready to take the head off of whoever comes through the door oh. next. And that may be Colbert the way it's going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm it's it's going to take you. It's going to take you a couple of rounds to do that to scamper up there to find an area where you can walk along and get up there. But you'll be up there soon enough. Um, 
All right. I'll uh, back up towards the tree and uh, have my staff in hand and uh, begin to prepare the one spell I have nice. <laughs> ready. Uh, uh, and I will tell. Uh, back the, up the, against the tree that was beside the door. Is it right next to it? Oh, yeah, it is right in front yeah, of it, it, isn't it? Okay. Uh, no, I better back up some more then. Um, yeah, go get some. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe about 40 feet or so. Uh, but just off to the left of the door so that I have a fairly, you know, good vantage yeah, point. A little angle to- yeah. And then I don't know, does Thomas, does he have a, did he have a bow of any sort or anything? Or what is he? I forget. Cold How is he? Does. Cool? No, did, he's a trapper. He's got a little sling. That's it. Got a little sling? Okay. I'll tell him, tell the boy to ready his, ready his sling with his, uh, his sharpest stone. <laughs> he's, full. he's almost paralyzed when he hears all these voices that can we oh, Okay. I'll say ready yourself. Your wife, yeah. your wife's life is at hand. He looks at you Good. and steals himself for Okay, you. there you go. Uh, <laughs> gives himself false hope. <laughs> with Bell with the level up and, and the the little bit of downtime we had, did Monty recover any of his uh prayers? Um I, this is what I'm going to say, Kevin, and to be all uh, honest with you. It's almost when you released Brother Isaacs, you were blessed at that that extent. And so I'm going to have you as being automatically renewed. Nice. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Excellent prayer. Yeah, that's awesome. Because that, that was a pretty epic thing that you did there. Um, but anyway, yeah, you're good. Uh-huh. Uh, Graham will be standing about 10 feet from the doorway. Shield at the ready, sword at the ready for whatever's coming our way. All right. All right. You and David in the well, yeah. Mm-hmm. You and Colbert. Oh. And David standing over the side. And uh, brother Monty is getting the upward event. All right. Uh brother Monty, you're about halfway up. You you've got purchase, you've got yourself on, on top to where you're able to get there when all of a sudden this clamor of weaponry and men. <laughs> come out into the light, spill out of this opening, okay? <laughs> so you're not there yet, but you are at the side when you look over there, you see it. And when they rush out, they immediately I want your guys to, as they say classically, roll for initiative. Um, Who wants to roll? Go ahead and do, do uh, group initiative on this, right? Yeah, I think that's what we were doing before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who, mm-hmm. who wants to roll? Oh, you go ahead. I mean, you, 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 I'm, the, you, I'm the first you one. First, okay. open the door and hey. yell out. One. Yeah, hey. you kind of rolled initially. That's good, right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> one. one. All right, that's good. You asked for it, Graham. You asked so for it. They rolled a one, too, so it's simultaneous. Oh, you know? look at that. Oh, uh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Colbert, right. the go minute ahead. he just out of the corner of his eyes, his back's, you know, uh, he screams and just swings around uh, just as hard as he can at the first thing you see splash out oh, that man. door. Okay. Everybody's well, you are. I didn't do anything like surprise, but I'm going to give you a plus one advantage on that. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, they're being reckless. Sweet. And at level two, I have a plus two to hit, plus one damage with my weapon. So plus three total to hit. Nice. Yeah, it is 11 plus three is 14 and three points of damage would be the damage if I hit. Oh, jeez. Uh, 14. Yeah, you hit. Okay. You hit. Nice. Okay, so three points of damage. Yes, sir. Right in the, right in the giblets. Yep. Yeah, right in the giblets. Okay. <laughs> These. Uh... I, thought, I thought you said the niblets. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These... That was my four points. <laughs> four points. <laughs> These guys are, uh, it looks like they're almost adequately armed. Uh Uh-oh. Even though disheveled to some extent. Some of them have, it's it's a patchwork quilt of, uh, you know, uh, an assembly here. You got different different uh, helmets that look like they've been taken off. And this is at first glance. You can have to say this. From different people. So it's all piecemeal. There's there's things, but none of them have like, it's all like either, uh, a curious over the body, you know, some gauntlets, but most all of them have helmets and whatever. Mm-hmm. But that's that's about that's how they're arrayed when they spill out. And they have like two of them have spears, uh, uh and three of them have swords that, mm. have, that are so <laughs> far out, right? You know, you could they're they're spilling out. You hit the one that's coming out to the left fairly hard, though. 
Mm. Be really hard. It takes the wind out of him, and he immediately notices you. <laughs> he redirects, okay? Uh, okay? 16 is my armor class. Nice. Okay. Well, yeah, all, all of you guys just roll, and I'll roll for everybody else. All right, after uh, I'm going to go last, Dell, if I can. Okay. Yeah, I'll hold my action. And then I'm gonna... should, I, should I roll for Thomas? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Roll for Thomas. Take some of the. Paying off, and I'm gonna I'm gonna attack whoever uh, the the uh, guy that uh, Colbert just attacked. Oh, okay. nice. Okay. Okay. Getting up on one. That's good. Getting up on one. Mm -hmm. All right. Want to go now? I'll roll. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So I got the attack bonus of plus two and a strength bonus of plus two. So I get plus four to this roll. Uh, no. Oh gosh, only seven altogether. Oh. Uh oh. You missed it. As he oh. got hit, got hit with a with a. Go Barry, they spun out of the way a little bit. Your hit did not make contact. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. Monty, yeah. Monty takes a swing at whatever he can reach. Um, the, the first, he, he's basically aiming for a head uh, that comes yeah, through the are doorway. What you swing it with? Because you're uh, a mace. Oh, well, mace. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, they, they, they're, they're spilling out wide. Um, mm -hmm. And almost pushing each other out the door, so there's going to be a a little bit of a trip. Um, and I added a, a plus one on yours, Todd, when you do that. But you can add that because of the situation as right. well, Brother Monty. Okay, uh, I rolled a, a natural fourteen, so with a plus one, that'd be fifteen. Okay, yeah, you hit it. You hit it, uh, but only one damage. Okay, so you crack and his helmet spins a little bit. <laughs> as you the side. This is a, it's a different one, Coach. Right, we're not the same guy. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't uh, trying to hit this. It was whoever. Just whoever was got out. Yeah, and I'm yeah. envisioning you on the other side. All right. All right, Lauren, you. Uh, oh, okay, we're ready. Okay, uh, I'll have uh, Thomas. Uh, oh well, let me ask you. Uh, the one that Colbert hit uh, was that a swordsman or a spear spear guy? It's a swordsman. Okay, and then uh, what about Brother Tomas? Did he who did he hit? Spear or uh, uh, he hits he hits the swordsman. The, the swordsman two guys too? outside of swordsman, the ones in the middle. The okay, two in the middle that are coming out are are spearsmen. Okay, well, okay, hmm. all right. Uh, I will put one shoulder on Thomas or one hand on Thomas's shoulder and kind of point him in the direction of maybe let's try the the uh, swordsman that. Uh, uh, that our trusty cleric hit, so he'll try that guy. Okay. Um, does he get any modifiers to his role, or is he straight? Thomas, uh, he, he'll get the obligatory plus one for this. Plus one? Okay. Let me yeah, roll. Tripping each other. They don't eight. Sure. Okay. So he gets plus one, and then he does 1d6 minus one damage with the sling. Yeah. So, ah, no, he's not going to hit. That's an eight. Okay. And then I only rolled a one, so he wouldn't want any damage. Masonry above their heads. Okay. It's just brother. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's, he's nervous, brother Ronnie. He's nervous. Uh, he's nervous. I, 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 sque I squeeze his shoulder and tell him to focus, boy, focus. <laughs> and uh, he, he's I, standing in a puddle of urine right about now. Never <laughs> <laughs> mind. I'll. Uh, <laughs> I'll. Uh, oh, this is gonna get ugly quick. Um, yeah. I think that. I will. Uh, I'll, I'll take a chance, and I will uh, let loose uh, my spell at the swordsman that Colbert hit, hoping that they may that may take him out because gotcha. it's all it's all or nothing. So it's it's going to be a magic missile spell. Nice. Uh, nice. But that's it. Once that's gone, that's it, guys. <laughs> it's all right. And let me roll. It does one d six damage. Nice. See what happens here. And I actually got four. Four points. Oh, geez. So let's see if that takes okay. him out. Uh, whenever it does hit him, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it does some know. immediate effects. Now, listen, because this is simultaneous, he's already in mid swing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But mm -hmm. as this goes through him, you see that as he's swinging, mm -hmm. The life's just going out of his eyes. Okay, I mean, he's going down right. Then he's being lit up. His eyes go wide. Okay, that swing connects with uh, Colbert. Fingers crossed. Okay, 
It actually does not. He rolled a six. Nice. So uh, he a falls. Bear screams out, "See the power <laughs> of the elf!" <laughs> <laughs> he falls out. He just now, by, you fools! <laughs> with his sword phew, right by, and he, he plunges face down into the ground. All right, into okay. the ash. A little of ash. All right. Ooh. All right, and I slump down, exhausted. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, out, I'm, out. I'm spent. I'm spent. Carry yeah, on. Carry yeah, on. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The rest of them are still howling as they're coming out. Oh they're boy. Right, they're right <laughs> Uh, and let me see. The spearman that was right beside the fallen his fallen comrade uh, is running straight toward you and uh, uh, Lauren and Thomas. What's the little yeah Thomas. Thomas? Yeah, yeah. Running straight toward y'all. All right, I'll push him or try to lean in, push him out of the way. He okay. is the. He is the future. <laughs> yes. Yes. Away, yeah. <laughs> anyway, he, he rolls an eleven. So, uh, well, I don't know. That would hit me probably. Uh, I think. I, yeah, I have an AC of ten. Okay, you got an AC of ten. Yep. So. so yeah, he bites into you. Yep. Let's roll this sucker. I can find my. Oh, there's D six. All right, he is for three, though. Oh boy. Okay. Mm. Well, that that uh that was a hearty blow to me. Again, uh, I'll, you did level uh, up, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I groan. <laughs> yeah. As, as the spear rips into me, and uh, Thomas shrieks when he sees his and over to the side, I guess you know, and go down. I'm not dead, but I'm you know I'm I got one left. So. Oh yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Coming at you, y'all always split. Like. <laughs> That's known as the glass cannon, fellas. That's what. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> the other spearman wheels around to uh, Jafford upwards toward uh, Brother Monty, mm. who was in mid stride to get to the exact top of this area. He's jabbing with a spear. All right, rolls a fourteen. Oh, fourteen hits. Yeah, All right. Uh oh. We're rolling good. Now that spear is a D six too, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, roll a four on that. Oof. Okay, man. All right. So he, he walk it off, brother Monty. Walk it off. <laughs> walk yes. it off. <laughs> That's right. As coach, as coach used to say, walk it off, baby. That's right. so true. So true. <laughs> the the other guy with the uh, the sword turns around and, and uh, he's on the far left and he's taking a swing at uh, Graham. Oh, yeah. All right, bring it on. Bring it on. Yelling incoherently. Mm. Oh, shoot. Hold on. Okay. Let me roll on. Accidentally pressed the uh, stop on this. 